In this video, you're gonna learn how to get blog traffic from LinkedIn, and I'm gonna show you how to use one of the latest features of LinkedIn, where you can write an article and essentially publish directly on LinkedIn. This is like just a blog publishing platform built into LinkedIn, and LinkedIn are got, giving this a lot of visibility, so it is an excellent feature that you can take advantage of in order to get more exposure. So before we get into kind of looking at this, I just want to show you a couple of examples. So Richard Branson is the founder of Virgin Group, and he's actually extremely active on LinkedIn. He publishes quite a lot of articles, and if you go to his profile, you can see them below down here. He's got over 13 million followers for his articles, and so this is a great way that he's built up his influence uh, on the platform. So if we look at the articles here, we can see catching up with Bill Gates on climate change. And if we click into this again, we can see that this is on, this is an article published on LinkedIn's publishing platform. Now, in terms of what type of content should you put out? Well, you want to be quite targeted and um, your content should really accomplish two goals. First, it should teach people how to solve a problem or do their job better. And then it establishes you as a thought leader. And uh, each aspect is naturally going to lead to more business if you offer them real value. And it's basic psychology and it just gets results. So Richard Branson is probably extremely well known already to a lot of people. And he's just continuing to create this content to raise issues with people. But for a business, you maybe want to get a little bit more strategic in terms of the content that you create and also the call to action for these posts. So the reason I'm showing you Richard Branson here is more just he's using it as a blogging platform on LinkedIn himself and extending his influence there. But here's an example of someone who's using it more strategically and using it to get blog, blog traffic. And this is very interesting. Uh, this guy Neil Patel, if you come down to his articles, we can just click on the latest one here. So this is much more specific and targeted. How to find new customers using these nine Google Analytics reports. So you can see that compared to Richard Branson, catching up with Bill Gates, it's kind of more informative. This is much more an article like how to do your job better and get results. And this is the type of article that I'd encourage you to use. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that this is a good article. It's got a good amount of likes and comments, but here is where it gets really interesting. And this is the strategy that I encourage you to use. In fact, the opening paragraphs of this article don't really teach anything. There's no nine analytics reports that he's jumping into here. He's just setting the stage, giving the context. And then he says, luckily, Google Analytics has the answers you need. Click to continue reading. Now, if we look at this, it's the same post essentially, but this time on his web site. So what he's doing is he's giving some of the article away on LinkedIn, maybe 20, 30% of it. And then he's encouraging people to continue reading to click back to his website. So you can see that that's a lot more strategic than the, than the way maybe Richard Branson's using it. Richard Branson doesn't need website traffic, but as a business owner, he will. And so the idea here is to make it much more focused in terms of enabling people to get results and a good headline will always help catch people's attention. But then most importantly, after 20, 30% of the top of the article, get them to click to continue. And really the meat of the article should be back on your website and that will allow you to get people back to your website. And the beautiful thing about this strategy is if you already have a lot of blog posts or you're taking over from a client or you're coming into a company, they might have a lot of content on their blog, but it's just not getting that much visibility. And through LinkedIn, you can repurpose the same content. You don't even need to create new content, share it out, and you can get a lot more traffic from that content that you've already created. Now, the cool thing about these articles and the reason that you want to use this rather than just putting a link to your uh, web page here, is because if you publish an article, so if you go ahead and write an article here, everybody that you were connected with will actually be notified 
that you have created an article. So this is a new feature from LinkedIn. They're obviously trying to push adoption of it. And as an incentive for people to use it, they are notifying all of your connections anytime you publish something. So that is why you would want to publish it here and not just share a link to the same article, which you could do here. You could just copy that and say, paste that in and it shows the same thing. It looks quite similar, but the key difference is that if you publish it as an article and even just share 20 or 30% of it, all of your connections are gonna get a notification. If you share it just as a post, like I've done here, they will not get a notification, but it may end up in their news feed as well. But the key thing that I'm trying to stress is that the article has much more visibility for your connections and that is why you should really publish it as an article uh, just like uh, this example here. So if you want to create content that gets a lot of exposure on LinkedIn, write an article, put 20 or 30% of the article there, leave the meat back on your website and encourage people to continue reading back on your website. So go ahead, use that strategy for your own business, for clients, for a company that you're going into in order to get much more visibility, extend your influence and help people solve their problems on LinkedIn.